yes, I will just keep trying. I have, I'm having a hard time putting a little vlog together. I don't know why. Uh, I do find this place restful and so maybe I can share a tiny bit of this with you guys. Um, these are ivy berries in the making. I've shown ivy berries before. Uh, these are the little, um, I don't know, bunches, I suppose, um, that have flowered this year. And by this time next year, each one of those knobs will have turned into a dark purple black berry. And if you're careful, uh, because they're poisonous, you can actually make uh, ink from them. And that's a really pretty ink. It's um, like purple and green at the same time. So that's really cool. This is our local reconstructed henge type construction. And funnily enough, standing here, once removed, you know, from the crowd and the people, I don't know what it is, you guys. I'm just getting so hypersensitive to people's opinions about things. I get messed up, I get angry. And I'm also, I guess I've always been rather a bit of a volatile person. And at the moment, all the fireworks are coming out at the same time, somehow. It's not even that I'm all that upset. Uh, I just need a bit of space for myself. And this does feel better. Um, I'm trying, I've noticed, trying to vlog just now because I've got new decks, I've got all sorts of fun stuff that I want to share. But I've noticed that I get, I get kind of sidetracked really easily and um, I get confused. I try to, <laughs> you know, cram in as much information as possible. I go off into all sorts of tangents and it just, it's just stupid and I can't focus. I have a hard time focusing. I don't know why that is. And I'm used to relying on my ability to focus. So maybe it's noise also. There's been builders noise still every day of the week. There's hammering and drilling and sawing going on continually. Music also. It's not that loud. It's not like it's uh, a nightmare, you know? It's, I have to keep some of the uh, doors and windows closed that I would like to have open because it's not that cold. It's nice out here even. It's better here now. Yes, okay. So, all this looks a bit like a prehistoric, um, I don't know, some type of a stone circle or something. And it's just, uh, I think, the rocks that they found in the bottom here. Look, there's a snail. That snail is really slow. <laughs> He's sitting there eating moss by himself. Um, I've been having a really hard time putting all the things together somehow and getting some type of, uh, I don't know, closure, maybe? I don't think I've really had any closure with respect to the themes that I touched on in the past week. That's been really hard for me. We did get a chance together, my husband and I, to talk about things uh, a bit more and that did help. There was quite a bit of closeness. He also finds it really hard to um, accept some things also from himself. It is just very much, um, it's scary sometimes, just the past itself. You cannot always let go of the past. I think the past lets go of you whenever you're really ready and whenever you've sort of 
manage to distill everything. It's like an alchemy process. It takes time. It takes forever. So this bit of green out here, yes, that's helping. Um, I don't feel bad inside at all, really. It's just... I have a hard time focusing, I have a hard time getting the words put together and quite often, I don't know about you guys, but for me it is because I am being, I am distracted really. I am letting myself get distracted inside by the decks, by people, by conversations, by all sorts of information. And um, it's not what I really need to say. It's not what I really need to talk about. And so maybe one thing about being stuck in the past is really the recent past also. For me, certainly, it has to do with um, figuring out where I left myself behind, stuck, in some type of an interaction, some type of a, some thing, some activity, where uh, it turns out that I do not need or want to be anymore. Now, I can get stuck or hung up on the fact that I didn't manage vlogging earlier. That's also being stuck in the past. It's relevant to me. To me, this is relevant. I get stuck in annoyance at myself, basically. And it isn't like it's the end of the world. Certainly not anymore. Used to be much worse. <laughs> so some work has been done, yes. Um, but I have to be careful. I have to pay attention to what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. And apparently a larger part of me wanted to be out here than I realized, than I was aware of. And for me, that's always been crucial recently to figure out, and there's no handbook for this. There's no even, there's not, I don't think it's even possible for me to pick cards for this to um, help me find out what it is that I'm supposed to be doing really inside. I did pick a few cards uh, from my one of my new decks that I've got that I will be showing to you presently. Um, they were going in order, I think. The Nine of Desks, the Ace of Cups and the Fool. And I'd asked about the impact, the lasting and possible continuing change also resulting from our experiences in the past. So it looks like many good things where the Eight of Cups now is really um, the just a, like a low point in my path at the moment. I mean, I'm okay with the Nine of Discs and I'm completely okay with the Fool. So it's like getting a new start and having to wait also for that time. So um, this might be quite a bit of a rambly video again. I'm just hoping that by first looking at all the nice green pictures here, I uh, start off by making some kind of inner sense and then from there on out we can move to the cards, okay? So I will show you the cards and the other decks and things that I've got uh, in my next bit, okay? Thank you for watching. See you soon.